Hello everyone. I'm Catherine from Dr. Mehta's Hospital. Nurses' bedside communication bundle is a tool to enhance communication and patient involvement in the treatment. It allows both the previous duty nurse and present duty nurses to assess the patients, examine for any patient safety errors, and allows the patients to be a part of their plan of care. It is an effective communication tool to increase patient communication, patient safety, decreases errors, and improve patient outcomes. Now let's see about the role of previous duty nurse. She says goodbye to patient and takes the next shift nurse along to introduce. For example, Hello Mr. X, we are here to have change of shift report. I am going home and she will be your nurse today. I have worked with her for a long time. She is a great nurse. So please feel free to ask any help from her. Next is about the role of present duty nurse. She greets the patient and introduces herself with name. Builds rapport with the patient. She does quick patient assessment. Checks equipments and surroundings in the bedside. Mentions the plan of care. Now let's see about all the roles in detail. When you start communicating with the patient, always start with greetings. Then introduce yourself with name. And tell the patient or attendant about the shift timing. For an example, Good morning Mr. X. I am Miss Catherine who is going to take care of you from now onwards till 3 p.m. To build a good rapport with the patient, always maintain a good eye contact, show empathy while talking and allow open communication. Then enquire how patient feels, if they have slept well, if they have ate well, etc. Also bring to the knowledge of patient that she or he is aware of the patient condition which existed the previous shift. Then enquire about the attendant if they are comfortable. To have a quick patient assessment, we need to check many things. Let's see one by one. Assess the IV site and note down the VIP score. Check the IV insertion date and time. Then check the date and time in IV sets and IV fluid bottles etc. If there is any wound, drain, surgical site present, check for the soakage. If urinary catheter is present, check whether it is secured well, hung well and drained well. Then observe the skin for any hydrogenic injuries and pressure points. And enquire about the bowel movement if there is any intervention needed. After completing patient assessment, check the equipments and patient surroundings. Check the function of oxygen flow meter and suction apparatus, then note down in the checklist. Check the other equipments like syringe pump, infusion pumps and remove the unwanted equipments too. Then check the patient's medication tray and note down the medications available and arrange the tray neatly. Then do the other checks like side rails, call bell and etc. And also reinforce again. If any activities are planned for patient during your shift, mention it with timings like due antibiotics, procedures like bronchoscopy and endoscopy, any discharge plan, cross referral pending, or any change of dressing etc. After mentioning about all these, ask the patient whether they have any questions and ask them whether they have understand the plan of care. And before leaving the patient room, thank the patient. By following this bedside communication bundle, we nurses give the patient and family an opportunity and an invitation to take part in the care. It increases patient involvement 
and the understanding of care also decreases patient and family anxiety hope this video will be useful to all thank you